I've been on well recently, but I'm all gooder now. But while I was on well, I didn't want to do anything in the that was important. Because if my head's not in the right space, then that reflects in the job. So I didn't do anything on the bathroom. I just stayed in my shed pottering. And while I was pottering, this happened. shed Schleiter and with TV set up there in that silver box I don't mind being in the doghouse And here's another thing I started working on when I wasn't well. I'm going to do some more painting on it tomorrow, uh, today. Old bench that I had for years, made from two uh, jewellery display cabinets from a boutique, stacked on top of each other. And then just with MDF, a $1 sheet of MDF from Bunnings, I made this caboose on top, which I'm going to build a new stacker for my red and black tools. So there you go. I've got more space for extra tools, if I need them. I've got all this space down here still, 
which I'm going to put my electric saw and all that sort of stuff, sander and stuff in there. And then with my, <clears throat> all my hand tools here beside them in uh, drawers, most of my tools are now centralized. That there is the tabletop for the sunroom. It's going to the bearded bloke timber collective to get surfaced, resurfaced. That one there, I need half of it for a bathroom project. So I'm going to straighten mine edge and then cut it down the middle. And the reason I'm cutting it down the middle is because it has a twist in it. So if I get him to flatten it with a twist in, there'll be next to nothing left of the timber. So if I cut it down the middle, that halves the twist and therefore halves the amount of stuff he needs to take off it. Cutting it in half meant I only had half the weight to lift as well at one time. But also, have a look at this. So, not only is it twisted, it's also sort of bananaed as well. Just leave it there or glue it in and since I'm in two minds about it I might just leave it there but anyway I guess we can call that the table finished I left the foot rest natural didn't varnish it I like it and we've got these nice tools to go with. And it's a lovely place to sit and have breakfast or lunch or dinner. But look at that view. I'll be 
been needing an instruction book for this one, I think. After a dodgy start, because I wasn't paying enough attention to the instruction book, I'm on the top of it now. It's coming along uh, very fiddly, but I'm getting used to it. I found this tiny little diagram that shows me X is left to right, Z is up and down, and Y is front to back. So I think I've got the wires in the right place. The next step is to get into the software. Somehow I got it working. Not sure how. But it's doing something. And at the rate it's going, that could take hours. So I'll just leave it, see what happens. The computer fell asleep and ruined the last one. Uh, and I figured that plywood was a bad choice anyway, even though it was soft. I'm more likely to be engraving harder woods, so I've gone with a piece of iron bark and started the program again and told the computer not to go to sleep. It seems to have stalled and there are the two lines is working on and they don't look right do they if you can see them and I tried skipping those two lines and went down to the next line but it's uh, not letting me do that I was able to rewrite those two bad lines and save them, but when I I couldn't I couldn't restart the program from those two lines. It had to go all the way back to the start, which was crazy. So I aborted altogether. So, but anyway, I know now that it works. So I've got to figure out how do I draw my own designs and put them into that program and onto the wood. But anyway, that's a test run. It went okay. Another project I worked on in the shed when I wasn't well was um, uh, dust collection. Um, and what I'm doing is putting it in sort of temporary uh, and using it for a while and then adjusting when I figure out what could be better with it. One adjustment I made was I had the hose for the table saw on that side of the table which interfered with sheets going through so I've moved the hose to this side of the table which is actually better anyway because directly inside there is the saw and the saw throws dust in this direction my friend Mike in Canberra made this on a 3D printer it's got a thread on it 
the screws on because of the wire that's in the pipe and then this part of it fits into the PVC nice and snug and so now I can just pull this out of the joint or use it somewhere else stick it back in I also instead of having a blast gate on this pipe I just stand it on the bench and the suction holds it in place so I can unplug that hose there which is which goes up there and that's an old TV bracket which allows the pipe to swing around here so that I can use it elsewhere and when I'm done with the thickener, unplug it there swing the boom around plug it back into my saw I would say the thicknesser is probably about 98% efficient on collecting the dust and debris and the table saw is probably around 90% efficient the next thing I've modified is the drop saw I painted it to make it look less dodgy I've added a flap in here that falls down when the saw is down goes up when the saw is up but that flap stops a lot of vertical throw coming back this way I would say this is probably about 90% efficient as well I've got a second hole in that corner which is there mainly to service the, the uh, belt sander so the belt sander dust goes in there and most of it stays in there you get a little bit of kickback here but again it's probably about 90% efficient in catching that in there over here then I've also got a blast gate on this that one is for the uh, lathe but I haven't fully figured it out yet and then there's a Y junction there which goes down the back of my Azito bench goes in there at the back of the work surface it's got red paint inside it because I sprayed the back wall there and that's what I use as a blast gate for, for this one if I want it I'll just drop it in there but generally speaking I leave two runs open all the time because if you choke it down to just one tube um, the machine gets a bit uh, choked up a bit of progress and a bit of learning and I'm quite happy with my I'm very happy with my dust collection so far another thing I did was uh, put down a fresh batch of beer which should be just about ready so I'm going to test it right now. So thanks for watching my catch up video on all the little projects I did while I wasn't in the mood for doing videos. May not be aerated quite enough yet, but Schleiter. Yeah, it needs more gas, but it tastes quite nice. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and all that good YouTube stuff. And I'll catch you on the next video.